Welcome back, one and all, to the Brexit State. Hard by the darkest dungeon where it's 2019 and I'm still not getting any new invitations to go fight the Countess. So I might just have to use that one I've got and make it count. However, it's also the first episode of Darkest Dungeon I've recorded in a few days now and uh, you remember how last year, for most of the year, every other video was a Darkest Dungeon video and recently it's been kind of slipping to like every third or fourth. That, that is somewhat intentional because I've got so many other series on the go I don't want them all to slow down too much and I know that a lot of you come here just for the Darkest Dungeon stuff, don't worry, you have not been forgotten. So, while I wait to see if any more invitations will be forthcoming, it's worth looking to see what quest rewards are available. So the Pagan Talisman is good against Fnatic. We do have a high level Fnatic now, and if we're going to start getting infected with the Crimson Curse, that would be really useful to have. We don't have any more mid-level bosses to worry about, so that's okay. The Ancestor's Signet Ring, plus 10 accuracy, plus 10 prop, plus 10 percent stress. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. A lot of the Ancestral Trinkets are going to give extra stress. If we go to the ruins, we're looking at the thing from the stars, and that might not be ideal. I should take out the rest of these bosses at some point, and I should also go into the Darkest Dungeon and try and take out the Shuffling Horror. Now, the Shuffling Horror sounds like it's related to the Shambler and is going to shuffle party members about, so maybe if I set up a Shuffle Party to counteract that, say, um, you know, Crusader, Highwayman, Grave Robber, and a Vestal Virgin, that'd be ideal. We could also go into the Crimson Courtyard and try and build up our reserves of blood, but we don't really need that. We've got the... Um, what's it, the Crimson Vintner? Making up significant amounts of it for us already. So that's all right. We're doing okay for money this week. So it's more a case of where I want to go. And how are my lower level heroes doing? Uh, no middle level heroes, just lows. I could... venture into the farmyard once again. But Little Billy hasn't lost his marbles recently, so there's no need to go there. If you know the folk song, you'll know the reference. So let's see, what do we got here? Houndmaster, I, I'm not a big fan of the Houndmaster. Tempting? You know what? Yeah, it's for shorter of the three. Well, of those two anyway. So if we're going to the cove, we don't want you. Well, first off, I should remember to move Sister Vindra and Senate up the ranks one before I forget. There we go. So, Cove, if we take... Um, I want to say Ren. but I reserve the right to change that. You know what, if I take Ren and Ulcina then... Because they... I, I'm not too comfortable about the removal of the party restriction on the Abomination. It feels like a... Um, a cheap move. And if we take the Senate... And Sister Vindra... And we can pop in here because someone upgrade these and give her a bit more protection. Oh wow, look at that. In human bondage. Well, yeah, there appears to be lots of skulls, but they look like they're metal skulls. Um, who else we got here? You, yep, you're good. 
Wait. We're going camping skills this time, so yep. There we go. We just get a few more skills trained. Because the more we get, the better. Okay. And okay. And while we're at it, do our others. Oh, okay, so we go there. Because in general, class camping skills are better, you know, unique camping skills are better than commonly available ones. Yep, that's still good. So I'll just go down the line, purchasing a few. You know, we haven't taken Vernon out in a while. We should get him back on the questing bandwagon. No, not that. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll endeavour to have Vernon out in the very near future. That's probably enough spent on camping skills for now. Um, I am going to work on Senua's camping skills. Mother's Madness is still a major placeholder. Same goes for Lover's Comfort and the Darkness. I have an idea for the Darkness, actually that it will remove Death's door but give her 100 stress and cost about one time unit. But I haven't fully committed to that yet. Um, why don't you let me know in the comment section down below what you feel about that as a camping skill. Obviously she does benefit from stress. I considered reducing the amount of stress and doing other things or making it an extra stress for a few fights but then people would just use herbs to get rid of it. So, in we go. We're going to want food. We're camping once, so that should be enough. Torches. Yeah. Let's put that back. We do have a Plague Doctor, but it's worth having a few anyway. Three. Three, two, nope. Well, one, two, three, four. Now, uh, on two, because there are things down here that holy water can be useful for. And I think that's probably everything I need. Am I missing anything obvious? Got food, got bandages, got torches, shovels. One, two, three. Okay, now that's all good. And since we spent about 18,000 gold this week. We're going to probably not necessarily make all that back, but let's try and make a bit of profit. Actually, I'm going to have funky ideas now. Well, not that funky. So I'm thinking I'll try use uh, Whirlwind Attack with my Twilight Knight, because I haven't used that skill very much recently. Recover these lost shipments of rarities that we may prevent them from falling into even less scrupulous hands. And I'll swap it. Oh, it's only level three. Okay, no, forget that. I'll, I'll train that skill after this quest. All right. Oh, we are collecting. Okay, let's hope we do not run into the collector himself. Onwards. Evil awaits. The sparkling eyes of youth, twisted and made merciless. Oh, come on! What did I say? What did I literally say two squares ago in the hallway? What did I say about the collector? I, I, just, I have no idea. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull off a stun. 
Yeah! And he is eldritch and human. That devastating blow. So I'm just going for maximum killage here on the first round. You know, all the damage I can. Because he's stunned. I swear! I swear! I just... I mean... Seriously! <laughs> Unbelievable. Right. Okay. Gotcha. Can I get a stun? Please. Yes, thank you. Alright. Since she's marked anyway, let's get those counter-attacks ready. Keep it up, keep it up. I'm just going to take a moment to check this is recording again. Yeah, I know, double checking. Because this is just... <laughs> I, I called it! I called it! I literally called it! Oh, why do I have such bad luck all the time? I really don't know. I wish I knew. Okay, that's... I'm so... That's painful. I'm so glad she resisted the bleed. You know what? Let's just do this. Because they might dodge. Keep puking on them. Is that enough? Oh, that is more than enough. Okay, say owie. Nice. Fix the bleed. We're doing well. Ooh. Fuck. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. You know what else is nasty? Twilight Knight and an abomination. The ground quakes. It's okay, we have bandages. And we also have a plate doctor, so that's also fine. Stun? Stun. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Well, that turned out rather nicely. Ah, <laughs> oh, completely... I wish I could say completely unexpected, but I blatantly called it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, what a day. What a night as well. Just madness. Ah, oh, four fish, man. How horrible. Okay, just puke on him. Could have tried for a stun. Felt too risky. You know, let's actually try that now. Double stun! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, people. Nice. Extra nice. Yeah. Worth a shot. Okay. 
trinket. Trinket. Oof. Okay. Just get some blight on that back one there. And the pain continues. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. For death by inches. Can I stun you? Yes, I can stun you. <laughs> perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Go for something. And then we'll do a big one there. And that should kind of wrap it up. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Yep. <laughs> Certainly does now. My only regret at this point is that sedated. I might not have enough room to carry all the treasure. Foolish horrors. Brought low and driven yep. into the mud. Well, okay. I mean, we're going to have to ditch some of this stuff anyway. Ooh. Lucina, what have you been eating back in the hamlet that made you think that was an appetizing meal? Ambushed by foul invention. Look, if I use two torches, I get more space to carry treasure. Also, I was mainly doing it for the possibility of a good scouting role. Alright. Alright. We can get here. Too many fishmen here, it's starting to look like a rather fishy situation. Okay, okay. Need to watch that health total there. Nice, we'll have blight on him soon. I'm, people have discussed the possibility of putting piercing on Slave Beast, you know, armor, armor protection piercing. I'm not completely opposed to the idea. The animation and the skill icon definitely gives that impression. But originally it was intended to be more of a, a, monster, a finisher, like a, a boss finisher. So I'm not sure how I feel about making it even more powerful as an all-round purpose thing, because it was specifically aimed at certain creature types. Oof. Double dodge. Okay. A dizzying there will be healing. And brain. Healing will come. Be patient and stand firm. Sedated. Hmm. Ah, worth a try. Surges as the enemy crumbles. And that is why I didn't go for the fish round. Okay, how are we going to do this? A um, little bit of this, a little bit of that. And concentrate on replenishing that dwindling pool of health there. Ringing ears, blurred vision. The end approaches. Alright, keep it 
Voilà. Ooh. If he doesn't guard, that'll be. Well. His bad move. Right. Oh, that was just bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay. As the fiend falls, beautiful faint hope blossoms. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, you're dead. Well, possibly this turn now. Right. Sword to face into face. Ah, next turn. We get a healing round. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Now it just so happens that using holy water on this is rather good. Who has bad quirks? Dark temptation is bad. Zoophobia is bad. Fear of Eldritch is really bad. Okay. Okay. Fear of Eldritch it is. Or Sitiomania. Or Sitiomania. I'm not sure on the pronunciation of that one. I should probably look it up. Ah, oh, come on! Alright. So we're going... We're going this way anyway. We can get that on the way back. Same goes for that crate to waste. Okay! Ooh! Right then. Let's hope we don't get stumped. Maybe do some stunning back, you know? You know, this has the potential to be a rather sickening combination. Okay, let's transform. And hit them both. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. And with any luck, we'll be taking this one out of commission very soon. Annihilated. We're doing quite well here at the moment. In terms of town upgrades, we got pretty much everything. The only reason we'd want more crests would be for rewards later on. Maybe I should camp after. I guess I've got to find three of them. All right. Another mariner. Another misfortune. Camping would clear out two slots. Okay. We need to find out if we need to go all the way along this corridor, so we might as well go it anyway. 
Okay, who you over searching? Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Apparently an unfortunate surgeon. Not the direction we need to take. Okay then. Alright, we're going to need some more dead fish if we're going to camp. Point taken, game. Point taken. Let's at least get the first one of these. Oh, and we... I think I'll be camping in the secret room then. Because at least that way I'd get some nice treasure out of here. Might as well open it and see. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I'm going to hold off. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Right, is it here? Here. No, it's from the next blooming hallway, isn't it? Yep. Alright, so we need more ancestral relics. But first of all, let's play what's in the box. Damn it, we can't camp with this open because it's not from combat. Okay, so let's see. We're probably not going to find another one of those tentacle shrines. If we're lucky, we don't need... Well, we do not need to worry about stress. We've got a Twilight Knight here. Uh, we can ditch bows because we've got a Plague Doctor. Uh, we can go a little further before we have to camp. We can camp on our next fight in this room up here after using another shovel to remove the blockage. I'm kind of liking this idea a little bit. Easy. Oof. Major food shortage. Okay. Okay, game. We'll look for more dead fish. These are a wrong kind of dead fish. I mean, they're still up and walking for starters. Can I get a double stun? Yeah, I can get a double stun. Although I might wish I had not. Just an idea. I'll have, I'll have to throw a camping skill. I'll have to look into it. And I hope nobody dies in the meantime. A powerful blow. Just hope that mark holds. Holds their attention. Keeps it away from the badly wounded abomination. This might not be... It is. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Nice. He's probably... Nope. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. Blight on those two, but it wouldn't have been enough for a kill. Alright, 
go for a single. And so she lives, and then... Actually going to go for a bit more light. Heal, and then we try to take this one down hard and fast. Probably ain't gonna happen, but we can try. Actually, yeah. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. All right, let's play some more what's in the box because it gets rid of the key. Sadly, no food. Okay. Well, that's a pain, isn't it? Oh, dead fishies. Great big giant fishies. Where are you hiding? We want good scouting rolls. And we want fishes full of food. Failing that, another quest objective would be handy. Ooh, there might be food in that sack. There probably won't be food in the sack. But there might be. You never know, right? We live in hope, as it were. Okay. Nobody's dead yet. No one's been on death's door. We are experiencing a significant food shortage. But hopefully that will only be temporary. I got this to offset the bleed. And then use the Plague Doctor to remove this one. Again, offsetting the bleed. God, I'm glad she was the one who was going to get the bleed removed because it. No, she resisted, so it's not so bad. The wounds of war can be healed, never hidden. Let there be light, because we kind of need it. Push on to the task's end. All right, all right. Torch will take it. Oh, it's so nice, but sadly, no. Oh, thank goodness. Right, in that case, we're going to ditch this key. laden with loot are often low on supplies oof and there's a trap you know what she's got good stress removal both our frontliners have actually maybe there's some food in here well it's not food but I'll take as much as I can carry feel like Captain Pugwash in the book where Captain was it Black Captain Jake because he had a black beard and black hair forced Captain Pugwash to take as much treasure as he wanted and then walk the plank. Yeah, look, we're just going to camp here. Gathered close in tenuous firelight, 
and uneasy companionship. I need to change the cost on this camping skill. Let's see, 4, 7, 10, 12. I can whack an extra one or two on that. Right. Bit of a weird one, that one, but I might as well make some use out of it. Um, let's go crazy. Oh, that is crazy, okay. Oh, I should have, never mind. Right. And there we go. Let us press onwards with our quest. The third ancestral relic cannot be the far light, away. The promise of safety. And if we find a little more food before we start getting hunger checks, that would be ideal. That's not food. That's really not something anyone should consider edible anytime soon. Okay, that's a problem. Less of a problem now. Ooh, oh, that was rough. Okay. I think we're gonna live. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Six from a plague doctor? That's impressive. Now I'm thinking somewhere between this room and this room. Or maybe the first two squares of that corridor is where we'll find our third piece of treasure that we need. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Okay. Can we get a kill lot here? Sedated. We can s Yeah, if it hits... Shpow! Dead. Be wary. Oh, that's so good. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Should have taken that third one earlier. Okay. Food? Sadly, no food. Ooh. You sneaky, sneaky scoundrel at the back there. We do not like you. We will puke our guts up on you and make you feel sickly. And not very poisoned, unfortunately. That's a real shame. Right, well, we can get him, though. Absolutely, yes. Uh, we can really get him. A decisive bubbling. Oh, man. That is such a shame. This is a real shame. I should have gone anticipation. <laughs> oh well. Dazed, reeling, about to break. Okay, we can do this. We can get sneaky around the system. Oh, he's visible anyway. Well, stuff it, I'm still going to do So the thing about Rake is that it ramps up. If 
even if they double dodge. The ramps up. To a killing blow. Well, ramps up. A little bit of healing there. Coming useful. A singular strike. See, he's also got Wolf's Tassel there. That's interesting. Single target attack. Got him. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. No! Oh, wow. All the way at the back. We literally had to go through every space in this dungeon. And we're probably going to get a hunger check soon. Okay, you don't have much stress yet. Mind that such missteps are the exception. The traps in this dungeon are generally, yeah, they deal with stress. It it's just straight up damage in the ruins, a bleed in the warrens. Um, I can't remember what they do in the wield, but they do something, some extra effect. And then here it's stress. They also do bleed in the Crimson Court because it's a vampire jumping out and biting you. Okay, yeah, there no we go. No force of will can overcome a failing body. Saw that one coming. You know what? Last door up ahead. We don't need that shovel any longer. And we also don't need these torches. Gobble food instead. And with that, our quest is done. We could stick around and go loot stuff, but there's nothing left to loot. We've plundered the whole place. Well, let's return to the hamlet victorious. Alright, spent 18,000, got more than that back, we're doing okay. And the only quirk changed was Unholy Hater replaced with Cove Scrounger, but she's got free physical, free locked anyway, so that's alright. You know, they ain't changing. They're like physically locked in. A finely crafted instrument of butchery and bloodshed. Yours for the taking. In the end, the hours of rooting through the old barrels and forgotten weapon racks bore fruit. One free weapon upgrade for one of our many heroes. Sir Galliard has undergone efficient quirk treatment and is no longer agrophobic, sorry, automatonophobic. He also now is a permanent hater of the Eldritch foes that oppose him. And we got a free weapon upgrade. You know what? Who deserves this? Well, we want to go for the most expensive, so a four to a five. You know what? Marius would complain if he didn't get it. There we go. Those of you who know Marius, you know what I mean. All right. Well, there we have it. I think I'll leave the episode here. I wait, 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 wait. I did say this skill would be getting trained if I came back to town. There we go. <laughs> yeah. So, and there I really will leave it. I hope you've all enjoyed this one, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye bye for now, and cheerio. <laughs>